Please welcome Ashley Scott. Exciting. This is kind of exciting. Thank yes. <laughs> we're, we're saluting South Carolina, and that's where you're from. Yes, I'm from Charleston. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. And my brother goes to USC. South Carolina. South Carolina. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. He goes to South Carolina. He goes to, yes, he's a Gamecock, mm -hmm. and he is running for vice president of his class. So, um, vote Zach Scott, vice president, student body. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't Good know luck. I was doing that. I probably just killed him. Sorry. So he's he's gonna maybe win and be the the VP or something. I hope so. Yeah. I sent out my checks. And there you everything. go. There you go. <laughs> uh, um, you started. You grew up in Charleston. I grew up in Charleston. And you were a model. I was. Well, what made you want to do modeling? All the girls wanted to model, right? You were just a. I didn't really want to do it. It just kind of happened that way. It was. You were kinda... discovered. I was discovered. In Charleston. Yes. What they what they say? They said, "Well, come out to New York City and make some money." And I thought, "All right." I'll and how sure. how how old were you at the time? I was 15. Wow. And, and your parents said, "Go ahead, take off, do your thing." Yeah, they were really supportive. Yeah. And, uh, it was a great experience. I was able to travel around the world and do my thing. And you make you make a lot of good money then as a 15. I had to make some. I spent it sure. quicker than I made it yeah. that age. But um, yeah. And then how'd you get discovered for acting, or what was your big break? Um, well, I came out here to visit a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. And read for a part in the movie Simone. Y'all know Simone? Yeah. That hot little bombshell, the blonde. Yeah. Uh, didn't get it, obviously, yeah. but I uh, got hooked up with a great agency and. So they saw they wanted models for that because the, the girl Rachel Roberts well, was a model, she, right? Yeah, they were they were looking all. And did you? That was with uh, Pacino. Yeah, did I got you, to meet him. You, you met him. <laughs> yeah. Now how that must have been intimidating, no? Actually, it was cool. He was just like a normal guy. I just kind of sat down and read the script with him, and um, it didn't work out. Yeah. But. It, uh, it was it opened a lot of doors. Yeah. And then AI came, which wasn't a bad, you know. That was Sorry. great. I'm... That's okay. <laughs> Frank, Frankie wanted to do it too. He's but he didn't. cute. That girl's crazy. He's I, a hot little thing. He's a hot little thing. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. I big didn't say thing. that. He's she a said, hot big man. Big man. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> He's, yeah. Uh, um, what about this this show? I'm having a little problem with Birds of Prey uh, because you Why? play Batman. And Catwoman's daughter. They did get it on. They did not get it on. This, okay. They just didn't in front, do it in front this of anybody. This is my Batman and Adam West. That's Batman. <laughs> and if he ever frolicked with Catwoman, he would have been very safe. I don't think anything would have happened. So I have a problem now. I don't even know if I can watch Birds of Prey because. She's pretty crazy. I'm sure she uh, rocked it right now. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, so I'm assuming she she influenced him to do things that weren't appropriate. Okay. So you're the daughter. I, it makes sense though that the daughter would be very attractive from Batman and Catwoman. That you know? No, no, no. I believe so. That's how they work. And here's the costume. Now this costume. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do, do people want you to wear it a lot? Like, do guys, when they take you out, do they say, put on the costume, or how does that work? Um, not yet. I haven't, I don't have much time to date right now, mm -hmm. so not a lot of that, but um, I wear it enough in the show, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, you did wear, tell them about the costume. You had a, you had a, a bad blind date years ago, and you put some, what happened? Yeah, I like to wear costumes. I like to dress up, and uh, I went on a blind date, my first blind date, and it was the worst experience of my life, mm -hmm. and. What uh, was so bad about it? You just didn't like well, the guy? Well, he had dandruff. Okay. <clears throat> that, that, yeah, that isn't so good. Um, yeah. It was just a dud. Okay. It was a dud. And so we went on the date, and I was, oh, I'm so tired. I want to go to home. You and, called you know? And so I went home, and I called my girlfriend, and we put our wigs on and our big glasses and went back out. And now this is South Beach, and that's about four blocks by ten block, you know, area. So So you you shortened the, the date. You, you got out of there. Yeah, I fibbed. You fibbed. You said, I'm tired or something? Yeah. And then you went home and you put on your wig? Like, yes. what, what is your wig? Uh, it was an afro. Oh, you put on an afro yeah. wig. <laughs> I have this thing for curly hair because I've always had long blonde. Oh, I'm blonde, but, yeah, it's fake. It doesn't look like blonde from, me, from my vantage point. No, it's fake. Okay. They, they do things with well, it. Well, pull it off. No, no, they dye it. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I put on this big afro, and I have this really great, I have like 30 of them. Yeah. But this one in particular is so big that, it, you know, it isn't big and round like this, it just kind of flops down. Sure. It's, it's cool. Yeah. And so I thought I was in disguise, but he ran right into me. You ran into the guy ran later? Ran right into what him. What did he say? And, um, not a lot. If it was a bad experience. If I, I would have been him, I would have blown dandruff all over you. Yeah, or something, it could have. You know? That's I what know. I would have done. I could have fended him off with my yeah. wig. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was embarrassing because I don't like to fit. And you don't like to fit. I got busted. But I also heard because I do my research, young lady, that Apparently. years ago, or maybe it wasn't years ago, that you got in uh, some type of brawl in a bar. Does that <laughs> ring a bell? Because I picture you, I picture you as a nice Southern belle. And I can't believe that you would be yeah. throwing down in a bar. Yeah, it was like a bad John Wayne film. We, um, I was in Hawaii with some friends of mine, and um, and a guy came at me and went to hit me. And it was, and I'm not a fighter. Wait, what, I mean, how did this start? I do start, the show, though? But how did this start? He just, a guy doesn't come. He was up. picking on a friend of mine and threw him in a koi pond, and and uh, he threw and, a buddy of yours in a koi pond. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. And was I he... stood up because I had been drinking a little bit and had the muscles, and yeah. you know, I was like. Bring it on. And he brought it on and he came at me and I... No, he didn't touch you, did he? He came at me and then he didn't touch me. I... What'd you do? Did my thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it's not something I'm proud of because, you know, that kind you of anger doesn't but what was feel your good. Thing? But it was like a fight or flight. It was just... What was your thing? Did, I, you, did you hit him and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Who's the wimp that got thrown in the koi pond? That's... I, <laughs> And he's not a wimp. That's the worst part. He just caught caught, caught off guard. So. Okay. All right. It wasn't just... uh, have fun. What are you doing tomorrow for the big Halloween? Anything exciting? I'm working. I'm going to go pretend I'm the huntress. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Birds of Prey. It looks interesting. Uh, it's on the WB Wednesday nights. That's tonight, right? Yeah. Go Zach Scott. Yeah, go Zach Scott. Big hit for Ashley Scott. We'll be right back after this.